Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech, and in this video, let's take a look at the Meizu MX4 Pro. So this is the box that it came in for me. In some cases, there's a bigger MX4 Pro, uh, Pro box, and this is included inside along with the travel adapter. Uh, but that was not the case here. So anyway, uh, we've seen this before with the MX3 as well. So it's kind of like a book. Open it up, and here we have the MX4 Pro. So this is this is a 16 gig variant and barring that we've got some pamphlets again all in Chinese because I've got it from China. Thanks to bambai.es for sending this unit out and uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description if you guys want to pick one up for yourself as well. So what else do we have here? So in my case, I've got the uh, wall adapter and the micro USB cable right in here. So I've seen a few unboxings where the other box was present and that was the case uh, with my MX3 as well. So anyway, some of you had that, uh, had that question when I unboxed the MX3, so just wanted to get that out of the way. So that's pretty much it for the box. So let me just zoom in. So here's the MX4 Pro, uh, we've got the volume rockers to the left, up top, power button, 3.5mm uh, headphone jack, secondary noise cancelling microphone. Uh, to the left we've got the volume rockers, or did I say that already? Yeah, to the right we've got nothing, sorry about that. At the bottom, uh, primary microphone, speaker, micro USB port. So here we have uh, a fingerprint sensor touch ID so this is a 5.46 inch quad HD display the resolution is a little different here due to the difference in aspect ratio uh, uh, off the top of my head I guess it's around 1500 and some pixels this way 2500 pixels this way approximately approximately so I'll just have that annotated somewhere uh, here in the video uh, the pixel density is 546 pixels per inch again if my memory serves me right so anyway, let me take that off and uh, remove this as well. Okay. One thing I disliked about the MX3 was its uh, was the way you got the back off, and Meizu seems to have learned their lesson here. That seems to have been a popular sentiment, so they've changed it this time around. You can just remove the back cover. The battery is non-user replaceable. It's 3350 milliamp hour. This is a 20.7 megapixel. A Sony camera on the back a 5 megapixel front-facing camera. So enough with this. Let me go ahead turn this phone on So all right, let me also Okay, okay, here's the sim card slot. There is no uh, Room for memory expansion via micro SD sad But that's how it is Speaker sounds, first impression sounds loud. So there you go, we're up. So let's, let me quickly get the brightness up. Okay. All right. That is full brightness, gotcha. Okay, so the display looks quite bright. Viewing angles seem good. And the bezels appear really slim. This phone was imported from China. I did not come with Google Play services pre-installed. Uh, I just got that done in a space of uh, a couple of minutes. It's the same procedure as uh, we follow for Xiaomi devices. Just go to app.me.com. I've got a separate tutorial on it, but the gist is app.me.com. Get the Google installer, follow instructions, and that's it. So uh, phone feels responsive, zippy. So far, it's powered by the Exynos 5430 chip, the same one found in the Galaxy Alpha. But this time around, it's pushing four times the pixel. So that is something that I'm a little curious as to how it's going to work. If the Mali GPU is going to be able to handle that. If you're using this phone with a single hand, you can just pull down and uh, it holds so that you can access stuff. You also get the general... Uh, Chinese UI stuff, themes, and so on. Uh, barring that, this phone is currently running on Android 4.4.4 .4 .4, KitKat 
with fly me on top so this is the 20.7 megapixel rear camera fair enough auto manual we've got a few modes here and that's the all right how do i switch to the front facing camera now okay hey guys so that's the 5 megapixel front facing shooter mm. what else so you can pull down the notification bar from anywhere so that's how it's been there are some options here smart touch what does that do okay Okay, just some kind of uh, shortcut for navigation, I guess. So anyway, I'll be playing around more with this phone a little more. This is going to be my daily driver going forward. And then I'll come out of the full review. So make sure you subscribe for that. So that's about it, guys, for my quick little unboxing and hands-on video. Uh, hope you guys found this video useful. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, including the full review, make sure you stay subscribed. So in the meantime, if you do want to pick up a Meizu MX4 Pro, you can do that from bambai.es. I'll leave direct links in the description down below. So once again, I guess that's pretty much it. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.